hello friends welcome back to my channel and to another haul video i feel like i am a serial hauler <laughs> get it hauler um <laughs> um but i have so much happy mail here that i have been stacking up and stacking up and stacking up and because i've had someone over for three weeks because i've had issues with my footage on my phone going over to my macbook i just have this accumulation of happy mail that i really need to haul because i really want to put it away i really want to start using some of the goodies um on that note that very loud note again i feel like i always say it but if you can hear what i think is like an angle grinder or something i apologize it is the weekend here and my neighbors because the weather is sunny they're out in the yard doing you know diys and building things and fixing things and all of that fun stuff so if you do hear that i apologize um but it is what it is i can't change it <laughs> um but yeah, I do have quite a bit of Happy Mail here. I think these are all from known stores. I can't remember because honestly, this is stuff that I've been accumulating for a little while now. Um, but I will, of course, break it down into piles and then in no particular order, we'll just jump on in and go through everything. Um, I'm going to cut the intro short, so I'm going to leave it here and we're going to go ahead and jump straight into everything. So if you want to go and grab a snack, stretch your legs cozy up before we go through all of these goodies definitely do that now because i feel like this is going to be a long one my hauls always are so go ahead and i'll be back with you guys in just a second all righty so first cab off the rank we have an order that i placed from caress press so i did go a little bit mad i think she was having a foil sale um and i also used the opportunity to get some kits that i had been eyeing off for quite some time um, but to start with the foil, so the first foil bundle that I picked up, my camera is like over here somewhere, like it's off center. I don't know what's going on. Cause like if I'm center to me, like it's here. So I have to be conscious of the fact that you guys are here, but it's fine. <clears throat> um, so this is the witch's foil and it is this beautiful, almost like a violet shimmery purple color. It's absolutely stunning. And I couldn't resist because... Halloween was around the corner and I mean I'm about to enter Halloween like I'm literally filming this in October so this will come in handy for one of my spreads I am sure but you can see that there's all the little witches hats you've got the little like um Ouija board like reader thingy you've got like a voodoo doll a little cauldron spell book you know very on brand here you have some extra full boxes you have the toolbox here you have your header overlays very very cute i'm hoping that the bottom washi will show you the color more um here is your bottom washi overlay so you can kind of see that vibrant purple really really gorgeous and then you have your date dots you have some little uh, decorative pieces some little hole protectors if you use um like a ring binder here we have our script sheet and icons. And then of course, like every foil bundle, you have your two bougie box or two underlay sheets as well. So that is the witch's foil bundle. I don't know if any of these are still available in store because again, based on my order, let's have a look. I placed this order in August. So <laughs> I don't know what is still available. Um, but the next bundle that I picked up is the Snowflakes bundle in holographic foil. It is absolutely beautiful. And I just like having, because I feel like I use a lot of silver foil in winter, so it's nice to have like something different, you know, at least that way you can alternate between silver hollow, silver hollow. Um, and this is obviously very different to what I have in my collection already. So I thought it would be a good one to add to my collection. But those are your full box overlays. We then have some additional full box overlays, some header overlays, and your tall box overlay. This is the same format as the previous, just obviously different patterns. And look at that, like, rainbow. So pretty. Um, and again, date dots, some bottom washi overlay, all of the fun stuff. You have your scripts and icons. And then, again, with your two bougie sheets. I 
I then picked up the Daisy collection. This is a collection that I feel has been in and out of the shop in various colors. Um, and I don't know how to describe this one. It's kind of like a pinky orange. I don't know. It gives me like sunset vibes. Hopefully the washi will show you the color when we get to it, but it's really, really pretty. And it's kind of, it's like a shattered foil vibe. Um, and again, it's the same format. So we're going to go ahead and flick on three, but see, I don't know if you can see there. It's kind of like almost a, like a blush kind of pink. <clears throat> Here you go. You can see the shattered pattern and hopefully a bit more of the color. Scripts and icons. And again, your two bougie sheets. I also picked up the maple foil bundle, perfect for autumn. So this is like a sparkly orange. Again, really beautiful. I haven't used a lot of, I feel like a lot of my spreads I've left foilless this year because I'm like, I don't have the right foil or I'm going to buy foil and go back and decorate it. But it's my mission for next year. So 2024, I want to be well-planned. I want to have my kits and my foil pairings ahead of time so that I'm not switching things around. I'm not spending additional money. Um, but I really want to be conscious of that. Like when I'm pulling kits for 2024, I want to put the foil bundle in there. And then if I don't have the foil bundle, I can order it ahead of time. Um, <clears throat> and then the last foil bundle, I actually got two of these. So I'm just going to show you through one, of course. Um, so this is the Stormy bundle. And if you couldn't tell already, it is in a silver foil and it's storm themed. So you've got like the raindrops, you've got the rain, you've got the thundercloud, the umbrella, the little like Wellingtons or boots over here. And I have a kit in mind for this already. So that's fun. Again, your headers and some extra overlay boxes. Your super cute bottom washi. Love this. Your scripts and icons. And then again, you have your bougie sheets. So that's it in terms of the foil bundles. But I did then also pick up three kits as well. So let's go through those. Okay, so the first kit that I have here to show you is the Pillow Talk kit. Sorry for the glare, like my ring light is on because there's a little bit overcast here. Well, it's not really. It's sunny when I look out, but I know that there's clouds overhead, but I don't have the best quality ring light, so it does cast a bit of a glare. Um, but yes, this is a kit. Like, I wanted to use it for February this year, but I've said it before on my channel. February, your Valentine's Day specifically, always aligns in the same week as my sister-in-law's birthday and this year it didn't so I opted so no this year it did sorry but this year I opted to use a non-valentine's kit so I was like no I'm gonna spend I'm gonna save my money and I'm gonna use a non-valentine's kit but I really wanted to use this there is just something about the artwork I don't I, is this Celeste Studio I'm not sure I don't really unfortunately I don't know the artist I really should but I don't um but the artwork, the little like pasta, like Valentine's Day for us, we generally like, if we go out, we'll go to like Italian food. And that is like what I always eat. <laughs> and just something about the colors. I know that this was a kit that was done in various colorways. I know that there was like a purple colorway. I think there was like a pinky colorway. And then there was this one. And I just thought it's fun. It's summer for me in February. So the colors bright vibrant very different to your typical valentine's spreads and i just i don't know i just love it you don't have to use it for valentine valentine's day you can obviously use it for like an anniversary a weekend away whatever um but i think this is going to be my valentine's spread next year and i'm literally obsessed like how cute is that little puppy um but these are your full boxes you then have your like functionals boxes and some headers down the bottom there. Again, magnificent colorway. There's just something about the fact that it's pink and purple and red, but then there's that pop of like yellow. Love it. So this is the patterned functional box. Like look at those colors. Oh my God. I'm so excited to use this. 
Um, so here we have your glitter headers. You have some little things and some appointment labels. You then have some icons, some weekly checklists. You have your work labels and then you have a little extra full box here, depending on how you want to use your full boxes. We have some more functionals here, so some more little things, some half boxes, some more appointment labels, and some white space checklists. Here we have our regular checklists, which I never use. I really wish that I could buy every single kit a la carte because I would opt for that page to be removed every time. You have an absolutely stunning full box here. I feel like I need to use this one because fairy lights, hello. Um, you have your headers, you have your bottom washi and date dots. And then I'm just going to put these down for a second. Um, so we have our final functional page, which has our deco, some squared off boxes, page five and a half boxes. Then we come back to the start. No, we don't. Sorry. My bad. We actually have a full sheet of additional boxes. So you have some chocolates. Um, you have like the lounge room set. You have some little chocolate gift boxes there. I have then picked up the tall box, so maybe I won't use that half box. Sorry, maybe I won't use that full box because I'm going to use her for sure and she's got that background, so might not use that one, but we'll see what happens. But, like, how beautiful is she? Oh, she's to die for. Um, and then I did, of course, pick up the additional washi strip and I got mine in the purple. Um, but that is Pillow Talk. The next kit that I picked up was the November Skies kit. And again, this was a kit that I kept coming back to. Like every time I looked at Caress Press's store, I kept coming back to this kit. I was like, I don't know when I'm going to use it, but I needed it in my life. There, again, there's just something about the like pink with the purple, but with the orange and the yellow. And I think this will make a perfect autumnal kit for next year um and just like it's cozy it's you know you've got some cinnamon scrolls there you've got the bookshop you've got the candles and the bed suite like i just i love it the colorway is absolutely perfect um so there is that again same format as the previous so we're just going to flick through that but you can see here that the the functionals are much more muted which i think will work nicely with the pops of color in the full boxes you have your patterns your headers you have another little box in the corner there i love that you have the extra boxes because then you can really pick and choose like what you want to include in your spread. And that's kind of where the individualism comes in as well, because not only do we all have our own planner styles, but it means that your spread will most likely look very different to other people's spreads because you might opt to use so many different full boxes to what they use. You have a little kitty full box here, your bottom washi, your deco sheet with your squared off boxes. And then of course, again, here we are with the extras. So the extras for this kit, we have the alternate skin tone. We have a little puppy in a blanket there. I did pick up the washi in the like purpley plum color. And then I also picked up two different hair tone varieties. So I've got the brunette here and I've got the red hair here as well. So that is November Skies. And then finally, the last kit that I picked up from Caress Press was this stunning kit called Fairy Tale. I don't know when I'm going to use this kit, but I couldn't resist. There is just something about the like rustic vibe, the like woodland fairy magical enchanted vibe of this kit that I just couldn't pass up. So I got it. <laughs> and I don't know, I'm like looking at it like this gives me like bridal shower vibes or like kitchen tea vibes. Um, it could be a birthday wedding um i don't know but again just the colors the art just oh caress press kills it with her kits like honestly i am so obsessed with each of these three kits and i don't buy from caress press nearly as much as i should so i really need to get on that but again here are your full boxes again same format so we're just going to flick on through i love the like italic writing 
the headers. I love this like Merlot red color. It matches my nails. <laughs> you have another full box there, which is like a little magical branch swing moment. Very cute. And then we get to our washi page. Again, another full box option there. And then I haven't shuffled these around. So we've got our deco page. And then extras. I didn't get quite as many extras with this one. So with this one, I did pick up the black hair option just because it kind of doesn't look black, but more like a dark brunette for me. And again, it just gives you the option to extend your kit based on what occasion. Like this is very bridal to me. So again, wedding bridal shower kitchen tea whereas this is sort of more on the like magical enchantment side so if you just wanted to use it as a magical fairy type kit you can do that and i don't know why but i'm looking at this fairy now and she reminds me of jennifer love hewitt random fun little inner thought of mine for you and then i did pick up the bottom washi as well because i do enjoy splitting my washi but that is it that is my entire order from caress press so we'll put that aside um oh sorry no wait before i put them aside i forgot to show you the freebies so the freebies that i got with this order i got a few things so i got these little like overlay quotes so you've got leggings leaves and lattes please thick thighs fall vibes pumpkin patch cutie and spice girl very cute and instead of using like a full box overlay you could just like overlay one of these over a box so that is fun and then i got the same again but in the gold foil <clears throat> and then i got a maple sampler so i can use that with my maple foil bundle and then i got the same again in the gold so those were the freebies but that is now caress press done let's go ahead and jump into the next order Alrighty, so the next order that I have to show you is from Planner Face, but it's not a singular order. It's actually a compilation of one, two, three different orders. End July, I think. Was it July? No, Christmas. In okay. Yeah, so three different orders, one of which was the Christmas in July sale. So Christmas in July sale, I did spend a little bit. So again, just a forewarning, there is a lot of sticky kits here. This is because I buy them over time. Um, I do use discount codes where I can. And because when there is a sale on, so for example, there was a Christmas in July sale, there was tiered freebies. So if you spend like 25 pound, 50 pound, 100 pound, depending on what you spend, you've got a bunch of freebies, which equates to a full kit. So that is usually when I like to do a big stock up. So things from my wish list, I will buy like multiple of those so that I meet those thresholds and I essentially get a free kit as well. Um, so please <laughs> just, just know that I do use discount codes. You know, I'm not, I don't have all of this money lying around to buy stickers. And again, like I said, there's multiple orders here. So they have been sitting here for a while. It just looks like a lot when it's all together. Um, so I'll go through the freebies first. So, um, Anna's freebies have changed, um, PR freebies. So the PR freebies are now like an autumnal set and they are picked at random. So there's no, like, if you use a particular name, you get a particular freebie. Um, they are now like autumnal chosen at random. So depending on, you know, your order, Anna will just chuck in a random freebie. So I do have two of the same here. I've got some squared off boxes. I have the like journaling rounded boxes and then some paint swatches. So I got two of those. And then in one of my orders, I also got the movie marquees and scripts, which is really cute because again, you you know, you can collect them and then pull them into your spreads. But those were the freebies in addition to the like standard order freebies. So for August, the freebie looked like this. I did get two of those. So you've got, you know, like again, autumnal type vibes, Halloween-y type vibes. You've got your pinks, you like mustardy green, yellow color um, and some scripts along the bottom there. So again, two of those. And then the order that I did in September, um, I got this freebie here and this is a little bit more muted. So you've still got like your little skull there, but you've got some fun icons in the pinks and blues. And then again, you do have some scripts down the bottom there. So that covers off my freebies. 
Um, I then did pick up some icons, so not a lot, but I did get some of her transparent icons. Um, so these guys are on like a transparent matte paper. They are kiss cut and they are perfect to use on your little things. Um, I find that I often don't have stickers small enough to fit on my little things, so I've got to trim them and like, you know, do all those wonderful like cut and paste and like fiddle around with them things. And I wanted something to mark like spending time with my dogs. Um, so I got the little doggo. So there is that guy. And then I picked up a couple of like random things as well. So I've got the little quesadilla here because we do have quesadillas from time to time. And I thought that were cute. I picked up the little movie clapper. Not sure how I want to use this yet. I'm thinking maybe for like editing or filming or both. Could use them to mark watching movies as well. But again, thought they were fun and thought it would be a nice fun way to change up the way that I mark filming or um, editing and those sorts of things. And then I also picked up the little Chinese takeaway box. I have wanted these for the longest time. I eat a lot of like noodles and Chinese food um, when we go out. Um, so I wanted something fun to mark that. So those are my little icons. And then I did a little stock up. For those who have been around for a little while, you know that I love using these for the top left-hand corners of my spreads. Um, I was basically out and Anna had been out of stock for a little while, so she has kindly restocked those. Thank you, Anna. Um, so I did pick up two of these. And then she's also bring a bring brung a new variation into the shop. So these are called watercolor washers and they're kind of similar. They're not rounded. They're obviously meant to look like someone's gotten a watercolor brush and just like painted it over the page. And I thought this might be a fun, something to try in place of my paint splodges um, or to even pair them. Like I could layer them. I don't know, but I thought that they were fun. So I wanted to give those a try. So I picked up some of those as well. So they are the freebies and the functional type items that I collected. Let's go ahead and jump on into the kits. Now, again, this is three orders worth of kits. There is no, like this isn't one order. It's three different orders. I've just stacked all of my kits in no particular order. So they're not in order. I don't know what I ordered when. Um, they're just, I'm just going to go through them. Some will be in an older format. Some will be in a newer format. Um, but we'll try and get through them as quickly as we can because there is quite a few of them here. Okay, but what I might do first is I'll actually show you the Christmas in July freebie because I did spend the equivalent of £100. So I got the entire stack of tiered freebies. So these were the tiered freebies for Christmas in July. So for everyone who placed an order during the Christmas in July sale, you all got or we all got this Christmas in July freebie. So you have two full boxes there, some glitter headers, some journaling or like rounded boxes. Um, and then a planning and a reading sticker there. And then if you spent £25, you got this sheet as well. So you've got some coloured scripts. You've got four more extra boxes there. You've got some torn like journaling decorative type paper pieces and then some post-it notes. So depending on the kind of planner you are or the planner that you use, you've got six full boxes there to utilise. So you can kind of make it work. Or if you're just a journaler, you could like pair all of these components together and make a really beautiful spread. But that was the £25 freebie. For anyone who spent £50, you then, in addition to those two that I just showed you, you got the mini kit. So again, here you've got your full boxes, some functional boxes. You've got an additional, what's that, four, five, six, seven. So you've got another seven boxes there. So even if you only spent £25, you've got 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 full boxes there to use, plus a range of functional boxes. So really, really great value for money. There's another full box there. You have a full set of date headers. You have functional boxes, page flags, some squared off boxes. So you can really, really make this work. You have some little things, some more squared off boxes, some more glitter headers. You even have your pre-cut, pre-split bottom washi so that is the 25 pound freebie but i also think there was let me have a look here oh uh, yes so i got two of these so this is also included so you've got your weekend banner some deco some icons um and then with the mini kit as well which is the 50 pound you also got the alternate skin and hair color options and two extra fashion goals so so far even if you only spent 50 pound you have a whole 
the equivalent of a whole free kit here. So that's amazing. Then if you were a little bit extra like I was, you then also got the 100 pound freebie. So the 100 pound freebie is a full kit. So you've got eight full boxes here. You have two more full boxes here, weekly trackers, white space checklists, more page flags, more functional items. A full, a full page of boxes. Glitter headers, littles, some more headers, some more patterned functional boxes. Some longer page flags, appointment labels, third boxes. Checklists, the full bottom washi, more date headers, some decorative washi, some little things. You get your full set of glitter headers, some more functional boxes. And then in addition to the full kit, you also then got, of course, your weekend banner, your icons, your deco, and some fashion girls. So these are your alternate skin and hair colors. And same with this box here, you can swap that out. So all in all, if you spent a hundred pounds, you essentially got all of that for free. And the amount of boxes and fun like the amount of functional boxes and decorative boxes and full boxes, you could easily make this work as two, possibly even three spreads. For me, because of how many boxes that I use in a kit, um, and the way that I plan, because I'm a no white space planner, that will probably do two spreads for me, which I'm really excited about. So again, like I said, might have gone a little bit crazy on the purchases, but I now essentially have two extra kits for free. So take it or leave it, I say. But that was the Christmas in July freebie. So let's go ahead now and actually jump into the stuff that I ordered over July, August and September. So the first kit that I have here, I know that this is a little bit of an older format. Well, I believe it's a little bit of an older format. Um, so I picked up the flowers kit. I am I love the kit. I'm a little bit worried about using it because I tend to steer away from really muted, really pastel kits. Because for me personally, I think they fall flat on the page. Um so I don't know, but this is a really beautiful kit and I really wanted to use it. My favorite box of all time is probably this one here. Her hair is beautiful. I just, I don't know, I love her. And again, I'd been eyeing this kit off, eyeing this kit off, eyeing this kit off and decided to take the plunge and I actually bought it. So this is flowers. You have the beautiful little flower shop. It's very spring vibes. You've got the ladies like perusing the flowers, smelling the flowers, very, very fun. This is where you know that it's a little bit of an older format because you have your date headers down the side here. You've got the like functional little boxes here. An extra full box. You have your rounded boxes, white space checklists, your squared off boxes, little things, some glitter headers. I do love the colors. I'm just, I'm worried that the full boxes are going to when everything is on the page they might like disappear so i'm gonna have to like pair it with some sparkly foil or something to really make it pop but i love this kit so so much the icons are across the top here it's not in a separate sheet like the new formatting you have your bottom washi you have your english very english phone box there decorated in florals it reminds me of my friend's wedding actually the venue that they had it at there was a phone box and they took some wedding photos in there so that's kind of fun. You have your glitter headers, your extra functionals there. And then we get into the extras. So with this kit, I did pick up the toolbox add-on. Again, her hair is stunning. She is stunning. I picked up the bottom washi. You've got, is that an extra fashion girl? Yep, so you've got the extra fashion girl here, an extra full box here, and then the alternate hair and skin tones and then same with this girl here so that is the flowers kit i don't know if it's available in store because again these are things that i ordered 
all the way back to July and I don't remember like what orders each of them were on but absolutely go and check out Anna's store if you are curious because even if she doesn't have that kit available she has so many stunning kits you will not be disappointed she even has a last chance section where you can actually save so much on kits that you might like so definitely check that out as well all right, so the next kit that I picked up is the Tropical Retreat Kit. I'm pretty sure this one is still available. It's reasonably new. And can we just talk about the colors? The ocean, the colors, the cocktail, the summer tropical holiday vibes. Don't know when I'm going to use this. I don't have any holidays booked. And I probably won't use it just as a standard summer kit because I want to use it for a holiday. But it's here. It's stunning. Cannot wait to use it. I just... I've heard Kat say it, and I'm very much the same as Kat. When I say Kat, I mean Peace Love Plan. She's on YouTube if you haven't checked her out before. Um, but she she's said on her channel before that something about water in a kit just draws her in, and I'm exactly the same. Like, I literally just want to swim in that ocean. Um, but those are your full boxes. Then you have a little turtle box. You've got your summer hats and, like, your luggage. Again, giving tropical holiday, like, Fiji, Hawaii vibes. One day I'll go back to Fiji. One day I'll go back to Hawaii, so maybe I'll save it until then. And then you have your really vibrant colors in your functionals. You have your functional boxes. Again, this is the newer format, so very different to the previous. You have glitter headers, little things, patterned boxes. I'm just going to flick on through because I just realized this is the same format as the Christmas in July. You have your beautiful bottom washy ocean vibes, your date headers. Then we have my favorite page, which I always get, is the glitter headers because you get the extra functional boxes and the glitter headers. So I don't need to just buy the add-on sheet for the boxes only. I get the glitter headers and that gives me enough extra boxes plus my glitter headers to make my kits work. So we then also have our weekend banner, icon, and deco sheet. And then what else do we have here? So we have freebie-wise, we have the alternate skin and hair colors for both of the fashion girls. And then I personally picked up the tall boxes and the bottom washi add-on as well. So that is the Tropical Retreat Kit from Planiface. Next up, we have the Studious Kit. Again, not sure if this one is still available. I think it was low stock when I got it. It's not to say it hasn't been restocked since. Um, I don't go to school. I don't study. None of that. But the colors in this kit, the art, I wanted to pick it up. So at some point, I'm sure that I'll do a course or I'll do some sort of something and I'll be able to use this kit. Um, but until then, I'm just going to award it. It is absolutely beautiful. Um, so again, we just flick on through because it is one of the newer formats. Your extra full boxes in the top there. The colors are absolutely stunning, like the orange with the pinks and the blues. The patterns, it's very like, if you're a school teacher, this would be amazing. Well, if you're any kind of educator. But like I said, for me, I'm going to find a time when I have to do something for work or like, I don't know, maybe I'll hoard it until I one day have a child that goes to school and I will use it to mark their first day of school. Who knows? That's very, very far away, but it is what it is. We have our glitter headers. And then we get into the extras and add-ons. So again included now we have this sheet and included you have your alternate skin and hair colors and then i always pick up if there's an option i always pick up the tour box and i will also pick up the washi add-on as well not that i use them every time but i like to have the option so that is the studious kit the next kit that i have here is the lemonade kit Every store, I think, brought this kit out, but I don't know. The way that Anna composed the kit and compiled the art, I just really, really love. And the colorway, like, I had to have it. Um, my husband and I tend to go to the arcade a lot, and whilst this doesn't scream heavy arcade, you've got the box here. So I figured, you know what, one day, one weekend when we go to the arcade, 
I'll use this probably in summer. <laughs> and the chicken tenders with chips and the like spilt milkshake, the donuts. I don't know. She reminds me of what is her name? Max from Stranger Things. So again, we're just gonna flick on through. You've got your Stanley Cup there. Like that that yellow, how beautiful is that yellow? Love, love, love. I don't know, like how, if even if you don't go to the arcade or even if this art wasn't like something that you're drawn to, how can you not want this kit purely for the colors? Gorgeous. You have your fun, kind of trippy, groovy, 80s-esque, 70s-esque bottom washi there. Like look how vibrant that yellow is. Like these are fun, but this is, ugh, love it. Okay, and then we're at the fun part here. So we have our extras and add-ons. So included, you have your icons and your deco. Included, you have your alternate skin and hair tone colors for this one as well. And then I personally picked up again, the tall boxes and the bottom washi add-on as well. Can't pick up the pieces apparently, um, but that is lemonade. The very next kit that I have to show you is none other than Planner Camp. Um, I don't know when I'm going to use this. I haven't been to a planner market since the Sydney planner market so many years ago. Um, I don't know if or when I will go to another one, but I wanted to have this kit because like the doggo, the fashion girl, just because the vibe overall is immaculate. Um, so I picked it up. You never know. Um, but again, let's go through that. I might be able to like pick and choose my full boxes and make it work for some other sort of event. So we'll see what happens. Um, but again, let's just jump on through because again, same formatting. All of the newer kits all have the same formatting, which is for the graph tech that Anna purchased. So she's been slowly working her way through and converting all of her older formats into this new format. Um, so I think when you're shopping her last chance section, just be conscious of the fact that some of the last chance items will be in an older format because they're probably items that were formatted before she got the graph tech. There may be some graph tech items as well, but just be mindful of the fact that, you know, if you are purchasing from the last chance, the formatting may be a little bit different to these newer ones. So again, your inclusion, you have your alternate skin and hair color. You have your alternates here as well and then again me personally I have picked up the tour box option and the bottom washi add-on um but yeah so not all of the last chance sections are going to be the newer format some of them might be from I know that Anna recently did a stock take so she may have random kits that are quite old and in her really old formatting so just be conscious of that when you are shopping it doesn't matter there's still plenty in the kit so you're not going to be short on anything it's just that the format will look very different to these newer ones all right so the next kit that i have to show you is the planner tavern kit now a little fun fact when i ordered planner tavern i incorrectly the first time around actually ordered the mini kit and the mini kit is just not enough for me and i couldn't make it work by just getting add-ons because i needed the extra full boxes for the way that i plan so i then went back and bought the full kit as well um, so I'm just going to take you through the full kit, but just know I actually have two of these. So if you are looking for this kit and it's no longer available or you just need some extras, hit me up because I have a whole mini kit free. Well, not free, but I, I may use some of the mini kit depending on how wildly I plan when I use this kit. But I do have a mini kit on the side if anyone needs some extras. So hit me up if you do. Um, but otherwise, this is Planner Tavern. Again, let's flick on through. This is a very vibrant, very English pub type theme. Absolutely love it. The doggo is gorgeous. I love this like outback, outback, outside theme with like the lights. That all of our Australian pubs are like that as well. And like when it turns night, you have the lights on. It just gives you like that really fun, lively atmosphere. Hubby and I don't go to the pub a lot, but the pub is a tavern, tavern pub. In Australia, we call them pubs, not taverns. 
but same, same. Your fun bottom washi. I just love the color palette of this kit. Like it's very different to anything I've ever seen before. Um, again, inclusions, you have your weekend banner icons and deco, and you have your alternate skin and hair color tones for your fashion girl. So that is Planet Tavern. Oh, sorry, I missed one. You also get the tall box as well. Um, I don't know if this one is still available, but like I said, again, if you do want this kit, you don't have it or you missed it, hit me up. I have a mini kit. <laughs> um, all right, so the next one that I have to show you is the Safari kit. Could not resist. My husband and I have spent a lot of time in like wildlife lodges and going to safari parks and things like that. We don't have anything planned like that coming up. Um, but I know at some point we'll go to the wildlife lodge again or to, you know, the zoo or something like a, a conservation park, something like that. So I figured that this would be fun to have in my collection for when the need arises. How cute is the baby hippo? Love, love, love that. Love the little meerkats. I had a meerkat encounter for, was it my birthday? Yeah, it was for my birthday. I don't know how long ago, two years ago, last year. I don't recall, but we went to a wildlife lodge and we got to hand feed the meerkats. So they were like crawling all over us, eating bugs from our hands. Super fun. Extra full boxes there. Baby cheetah, your little baby girl, fashion girl. And then these are very sort of earthy color tones. Oh my goodness. Okay. I love the olive green and then this like orange color and then here you have your bottom washi we have our glitter headers and then we come to our included freebies and add-ons so included we have again the alternate fashion girls for both the little girl and the, the main fashion girl, you've also got the different hair and skin tone options for this fashion girl. You have your icons and deco. And then again, personally, myself, I picked up the tall boxes. How fun is that that there's a giraffe? I probably want to use both, to be honest. So I'll, I'll make that happen somehow. Um, and then you have the kind of like tiger stripe um, bottom washi add-on. That is Safari. I then picked up the squeeze of the day kit again the moment I saw this kit I knew I had to have it it gives me very sort of Italian Italian possibly even like Greek type vibes like if you're going on a holiday or otherwise just general spring slash summer vibes like late spring early summer I just love the colors like the red with the yellow and the greens the jug of lemonade the little like handmade pizza with the tomatoes like I just I love it <laughs> I don't know what else to say <laughs> um but those are your full boxes did I say that this is called squeeze the day because like the lemon but if not it's called squeeze the day so there you go um <laughs> you then have your extra full boxes you have like the lunch or like table setting there so you could use it for like a meal out or a birthday or an occasion of some sort Again, with that pop of yellow and the pop of red together with the... Mm, I just love. And I think the patterns, like you've got these like floral kind of... They, like, they give me orange blossom vibes. I know they're not, but that's what they remind me of. And then you've got like the polka dots. Perfection. If you've not shopped at Planner Face before, honestly, like check Planner Face out. You will not be disappointed. Like there is absolutely no way you'll be disappointed. You have the beautiful lemon themed bottom washi and the date headers. Then we come to our glitter headers that I always pick up as extra. They're not included. I don't think I've specified that, but I always add these as part of my order. And then again, inclusions. So we've got alternate skin and hair tones for both of our fashion girls there you have your icons and deco and then i added on the washi and the tall box because how could i not that is the squeeze of the day kit 
I then, back and forth with this kit, didn't buy it the first time around, then it sold out, then, it was worried, then I was worried that I couldn't get it because this kit, the way that this is formatted out of all of the stores that have used this art, I preferred Anna's the most, so I'm happy that Anna kindly restocked it and I was able to pick it up. But this is the mornings kit. It is very like, it gives me like Airbnb holiday vibes. So again, I don't have any holidays planned, but this will get used for the perfect occasion, I'm sure. Um, but the way that the lighting is implemented, the color palette, just love it. Again, with the full boxes there. And again, a very unusual color palette, but it is absolutely gorgeous. I don't know. I think this one's still available, but again, like I said, it did sell out very quickly the last time. So if you are interested in this kit, definitely go and pick it up as soon as you can. And then again, I've added on the glitter headers. I purchase those every single time just to beef up my kit and to make sure that I have enough glitter headers for my spread. Um, again, with the inclusions, we have this sheet. We have the alternate skin tones. And we also have the little doggo and the hair tones there as well. And then I've added on the full box as well as the washi add-on. And that is the mornings collection. Okay, so the next collection that I have here is Oak Avenue. Again, I eyed off this collection from so many different stores. Almost got it from Caress Press, but decided to go with Anna. Um, this was in her last chance section. This was one of the most recent orders that I did. But again, the artwork, the florals, the textures, like I couldn't not have this kit. I wasn't able to pick up the glitter headers with this one because it was an older format. I think it must have been part of something that she found when she did her stock take. But I picked it up nonetheless, and I'm sure that in my collection I have glitter headers somewhere that I'll be able to bring in and make it work. But again, I just love the colorway, the textures, the art. Gorgeous kit. Um, again, this is an older format because it was last chance. So just bear that in mind. You will see that the date headers are in a different location. The deco is included. We have the one extra full box there. And then, like I said, you'll see here, you have the different formatting. It also means that I'm a little bit conscious of the fact that I don't necessarily have... Um, all of the like enough functional boxes either but maybe the glitter headers I can scatter them or just do them across the top only the way that Anna plans if you've ever seen any of Anna's plan with me's but I don't know I'll make it work because this kit is absolutely beautiful icons are across the top here you have the beautiful I, no okay I thought there was an extra page there the beautiful bottom washi extra full box so there's still plenty within this kit, just that I don't have the extras that I would normally add on. I've got enough full boxes. There's probably enough glitter headers, if I'm honest. Um, but that is Oak Avenue. Again, that is in an older format. It was in her last chance section, so I don't know if it's still available. But by all means, go ahead and check out her website. I then also picked up this botanical Christmas kit because I thought that this would be perfect. Um, my team at work, we generally go to like a nursery or like a garden store for our Christmas, like end of year Christmas lunch. Um, and it's literally that, like it's a garden store, like there's plants everywhere. And then there's like obviously like garden pieces, fountains, all of that stuff for the outdoors. But then they have the cafe included and I just thought that this would be I never thought I would purchase this kit because like we don't have anything like this that we would go to around Christmas time but when I saw that Anna had restocked it when she did her stock take I was like this is the perfect kit to mark my Christmas like Christmas lunch with my team so that's why I picked this one up again it is an older format so just bear that in mind um, but very very pretty kit again you've got another full box down the bottom there your deco and I'm happy to be using something different. Like I generally gravitate towards similar Christmas kits, like similar, similar color schemes, things like that. So it's nice to have something that little bit different and it will be nice to have like a, a Christmassy but not overly Christmas spread in the middle of December. You know, instead of having like full on Christmas for four weeks straight, you know, I can have those subtleties at the beginning of December and then sort of work my way into that hardcore Christmas vibe. 
um, the beautiful poinsettias there, the happy holidays. I just, I love it. I'm actually annoyed at myself that I didn't pick this up sooner because it's actually a beautiful kit. Um, and then we have the alternate fashion girls there. And then I picked up the bottom washi add-on as well. So very excited to use that. Again, I did pick this one up from last chance. So not sure if it's still available. Um, speaking of last chance, <laughs> I also picked this one up. I'm pretty sure this was in the last chance section as well. Um, never really wanted it previously, but then I think it was Cat of Peace Love Plan that I saw use this or I saw her do a flip through and saw her use this kit and I was like, I have to have it. Um, so this is a very summer, it's called Coastal, um, very summer coastal vibe. Again, very holiday, like this could be like an Airbnb or a little cabin on the beach. Um, but I just think it's really fun and summer's fast approaching for me. So, you know. <laughs> And I always feel like I don't have enough summer kits. Like I have a lot of like a beach kits, but I don't have like general summer. And I say that, and this is kind of very holiday-esque, but I don't know. I don't know. Can never have too many summer kits, right? Right? Tell me I'm right. <laughs> um, but yeah, again, like I said, a little cabin or cabana on the beach. This is also in an older format. So yes, that was that means it was in the last chance. So again, not sure if you can still get this one, but by all means, go and take a look. I think at this point, my entire planner collection is like, I feel like it's like 90% planner face at this point. Like not even joking. I don't know. Maybe not that much, but definitely the bulk of my collection is planner face. And I wouldn't, I honestly wouldn't have it any other way. I've gone through so many different stores. I've tried and tried and trialed various different stores. I've shopped various different sales to try different stores and kits and things like that. But in terms of my top three, Actually, I don't know. My top, my kit collections come from probably mostly Planner Face, then Scribble Prints Co. Only because I'm still signed up to the mystery, which I may cancel. Um, I've got a little bit from Caress Press, a little bit from Lina Designs, but majority is Planner Face. And I just love the way that the Planner Face kits look when they're laid down, and I just feel really comfortable using them in their format. So, you know. Um, okay, so. Again, inclusions, we have the Fashion Girls, and then I picked up the Toolbox add-on and the Bottom Washi add-on as well. So that is the Coastal Kit. Um, I think this collection I also picked up from Last Chance. It is in a slightly older format as well. So again, not sure if it's still available, but this is the Sparkle Kit. Um, I decided that this was going to be my like New Year's kit, like a ring in the new year. But now I'm not so sure because I've seen art that Kitnish just released that Scribble Prints Co. has brought out. And I think it may be exclusive art. I'm not 100% sure. But it's New Year, but you've got like boxes with the Christmas tree. And for me, my Christmas tree is still up at New Year's. Like my Christmas tree doesn't go down until like the end of January. And so for me, I'm like... That's perfect. You know, it's New Year's, like celebrating New Year's, welcoming in the New Year, but you've still got Christmas hidden in the background. So it's kind of that perfect, like, tie over. Um, but we'll see how we feel. I do like the idea of something bold, fun, and vibrant to ring in the New Year, but we'll see what happens. Stay tuned. Um, but either way, this is an absolutely gorgeous kit, and I love the purple and blue vibe. Um, but again, like I said, this is an older format last chance so if you are interested like i said i can't guarantee that it's still available but if you are interested in collecting collecting picking up this kit i would go and shop the last chance section immediately okay the fun trippy bottom washi you've got the press for champagne there i have the glitter add-on which is amazing and then I also picked up the bottom washi as well. Again, you've got the presents. So that kind of hints at Christmas as well. You've still got the presents, um, but also it could be birthday. Um, and then I've got the tall boxes here. You've got kind of like this half box situation and the happy new year. So worst case, if I don't use this for new year, I can maybe use this as my birthday kit. We will see what happens.
Alrighty, so the next kit we have here is the You'll Find Me Reading. Again, this kit did actually briefly go out of stock and then Anna kindly restocked it, so I made sure to collect it. I was eyeing this off from another store, but I ultimately decided that, again, the way that Anna did the art was my favorite, so I picked it up. The dog with the little glasses there, so, so cute. I have all of these reading kits, but I haven't been doing like any reading apart from the beginning of this year. So probably should have used all my reading kits then, but we'll see. Maybe I'll read again starting 2024 and I can use all of my reading kits then. I don't know, but I have to use them because I keep buying them and I've got so many. Um, your extra full boxes. So again, this is a newer format. We are back to the newer formatted kits here. And again, the like pinks, the blues, the browns, very cute. And I think, if I remember, this is the one, this is the kit, yes. How cool is the bottom washi? It's like a bookshelf. I love that so, so much. And then you've got the beautiful blue headers. Per usual, I have my glitter add on. And then we get all of our fabulous extras. So this was included. This was included 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 and then i picked up the add-on and the toolbox but that is the you'll find me reading collection um this kit that i'm about to show you also sold out was kindly restocked so i absolutely picked it up as soon as i saw it um but this is the lazy sundays collection this is pretty much every sunday for me but it's also very reflective of what would be like the week after my birthday. I always take a week after my birthday off. So if I don't use it prior, I may use it for that next year. Um, but it's literally just the embodiment of a lazy Sunday. You've got the sleep in, you've got the house clothes, you've got the like lounging vibes, the takeaway, the resting puppy and kitty. You've got the girl like planning or journaling with her coffee and cookies. You've got the today I do nothing, the ice cream. Again, very muted colorway, but I think the full boxes, there's enough pops of color that it will work really nicely. I, I'm, I think I'm probably going to pair this one with a silver foil, maybe a hollow if I'm feeling daring, but I don't know. We'll see. I'm super excited to show you the next lot of kits because they're all Christmas, which is why I kept them until the end. Um, and then again, inclusion wise, we have the different hair colors. We have the different hair colors. We have the inclusions. And then I picked up the toolbox and the bottom washi. But that is the Lazy Sundays kit. And then now I have a bunch of Christmas kits to show you. These were part of my Christmas in July purchase. So that is why I also spent so much. They were Christmas in July. Um, so the first Christmas kit that I have here is the Christmas party kit. Again, I figured that if I didn't use the botanical Christmas kit, or maybe I picked it up after the fact, I might've picked this up earlier and then picked up the botanical kit. I was going to use this for my work Christmas lunch, just because you've got like the table setting vibes. Um, but either way, it's very traditional Christmas. And as a kid, I was very into like different colorways for Christmas. Like let's get blue and pink and purple. But as I'm getting older, I'm very much leaning back towards the greens, the reds, the golds, the silvers. Um, so it was very happy to see another traditional Christmas kit. But let's flick through these because I have a couple more kits to show you. And then we will move on to the next order that I have to show you, which is from Glam Planner. And again, these colors, you know, you've got the traditional, like the green, the red, and then like this goldy brown color, but then you've also got like a minty green, which I think is really fun. You have your bottom washi. I have my glitter add-on sheet. And then we're into our freebies. So freebie, freebies. And then again, I've added on the tour box and the bottom washi but that is the christmas party collection 
Um, this next collection I actually purchased as uh, from the last chance. And again, I don't know when I'm going to use this. I also contemplated using this as a New Year's kit because, again, it is very heavily Christmas, but the color to me screams New Year's. And I just thought this looks like someone who's going out to celebrate New Year's, but you've also got like the Christmas vibes as well. So I actually contemplated using this as my New Year's kit. So I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, it's going to be a very interesting December and January for me. <laughs> Maybe I'll maybe i'll take christmas from beginning of december through to like mid or end of january because i do have potentially three kits that are christmas without being ott christmas but we will see what happens again just to reiterate though this was from last chance it is an older format so not sure if it's still available but it's very fun um so again very different format to the last couple i've shown you but still an amazing format still plenty of functional boxes and i just i love that the color palette is very different like again i just showed you something that was very traditionally christmas and this is very non-traditional christmas in my eyes so i've got the glitter out on there and then we have the extra fashion girl in the different skin and hair tone variations so that kit is called gold christmas if i didn't already specify the next kit that i have here again part of the christmas july order this is called jolly we're going back to very traditional christmas very winter christmas very snow heavy christmas which we do not have in australia but i don't care when it comes to christmas i tend to live vicariously through my christmas kits because in australia we have very hot very miserable Christmases because of the heat and humidity um, and this is what I wish I had so this is really really pretty and again you've got that green with that gold and red I have so many Christmas kits I think I had five Christmas kits that I didn't use last year that I bring over into this year that I was like well Christmas is done I don't need to buy any Christmas kits and as you guys have seen I think I bought like five Christmas kits in this order alone Plus, I have more Christmas kits to show you in my Glam Planner order. So I think, technically speaking, I have Christmas planned out for like the next 10 years in my planners. But we all know that that's not going to happen. Um, and I will continue to buy Christmas art as it is released. Um, but again, we have our inclusions. And then I did buy the washi add-on. Don't know if I'm going to use it because I'm not a fan of the bows. But I have the option. Um, so that is Jolly. And then finally, the last Christmas spread and the last item of the orders that I got from Christmas in July from Planner Face is this beautiful kit. This is called Navy Christmas. Now, again, this is traditional without being overly traditional. We've got the pops of the reds and the greens and that like goldy brown neutral color. But then they've also incorporated a pink and a blue. Um, so... I don't know I just love the artwork like the cozy chair again very snowy winter Christmas not what we have here but it is what it is I don't know how I'm going to do Christmas this year generally I lean towards a theme like I'm like okay I'm going to go really traditional and I'm going to use all of the traditional colored themes sometimes I'll be like I want to go alternate and I'll use alternate I may chop and change like do one week traditional one non-traditional one traditional one not but we will see what happens but again I couldn't resist this kit Let's flick on through. Now, just as a heads up, I am going to show you the July and September mysteries from Planner Face after I'm done with this. So if you do not want to see those or you don't want them to be spoiled, absolutely skip through the next little while. Um, July, I'm sure you've seen. I don't know what's happened. I don't know if I hauled August early or in my previous haul. I must have because I don't have it here. I only have July and September, but... September is still relatively new, so I just wanted to give you guys a heads up in case you don't want to see that. Um, so here we go again with our inclusions. And then I did pick up the washi add-on and both tour box variations. So like I said, I'm about to show you the mystery kits. I will start with July, which you have probably seen. But if you do not want to see July or you do not want to see September, definitely skip ahead for you know, the next five minutes. But are you ready? 
here we go. Okay, so here is the July Planner Face Mystery Kit. I absolutely love it. The color palette is unlike anything that I have ever seen before. This little freebie of Ari did pop out. This is Anna's little puppy. Um, if you haven't seen him before, super cute. Um, but yeah, again, like the pops of blue with the like contrast of the orange. I am obsessed. I cannot wait to use this. But it is definitely very autumnal. Love it. Um, but again, this is the same format as all of the kits I've just shown you. So let's flick through that so then we can jump into the next part of the order. Or the next part of the haul rather, not the orders. But again, like how stunning is that orange against the blues? And who else would think to do something so wild yet so amazing? Let me move these aside for a second. We have our glitters. We have the box add-on because it is a mystery kit. You have extra full boxes, some scripts and some functionals there because you always get a little extra with the mystery. You then have your weekend banner icons and deco, your alternate skin and hair color fashion girls. You have your tall box with the little Ari sitting there as if I'm not going to be using that. And you have your bottom washi add-on and then there is also the additional die cut as well. But that is the July mystery kit. It is called Fresh Fall. I'm obsessed. Can we fast forward to autumn next year because I need to use this kit. Um, you can hear me doing it. So this is your free warning that I am about to show you both the September mystery. It's a September planner face mystery. And I do have both the SVK or the standard vertical kit and the journaling kit. So if you do not want to see this or you don't want it spoiled, please, please, please skip ahead. I am about to show you the journaling kit in three, two, one. Here we go. So this is the journaling kit. I wanted it just to add, I wanted the option to bring in some extra items into my weekly spread if I wanted to. So I thought I would pick up the journaling kit to see what it was like, to see what it included. So this is the newly formatted journaling kit. Um, first time I've ever picked up a journaling kit mystery. Um, so very excited. It is called Log Cabin Christmas. And here you have your days of the week. You have some torn paper washi strips, some post-its. You have some layering pieces here, some swatches of like paint or watercolor. On the second page, we have some beautiful florals that can be used as layering items. You could layer your fashion girls over them. You have some singular florals and then you have various deco pieces. And again, we do have the two fashion girls here that you can bring into your spread. On page three, we have some more layering items, the decorative boxes there, boxes. You have your rounded oh that's clever well done Anna so you've got these circular boxes that actually split in half so depending on how you use your journaling kit you can either put them together so that you've got the full circle or you can split them very very clever you've then also got your Monday through Sunday in like a typewriter font and then you've got this week daily task gratitude goals important and then again some various layering pieces down the bottom on the next page we have essentially long strips of washi so again perfect for layering oh and they're like they're like a masking tape texture that's really fun okay that's fun so they're like a washi strip but they're in like a tape and you can kind of tell now that i'm looking at it clearly you can tell I don't know if you can tell looking at it, but it's a different kind of paper. So that's really fun. So they're almost transparent. But again, some more textured pieces for your spread. Um, so the journaling mystery, if you've never seen it before, is four pages and includes quite a lot, if I'm honest. Don't know how I'm going to incorporate these. I may use them in a monthly spread. We will see what happens. But very, very fun. And then in... Included, we did get this cute little die cut, the cabin in the woods. 
And now I am about to show you the standard vertical kit in three, two, one. It's coming. Okay, so here it is. This is gorgeous. Again, another Christmas kit. I don't even care. It is stunning. Again, log cabin Christmas is traditional. It's cozy. It's winter. It's everything American Christmas. Like when I watch Christmas movies, part of why I watch Christmas movies is because I want to live in that Christmas movie, in the snow, in the cozy cabin, instead of by the pool that I don't have in the heat, sweating, cooking Christmas lunch. Um, <laughs> so this is what I envision my perfect Christmas to be. So this is really, really cute. Love the like Christmas tree above the fireplace. One day, one day I will be the person who decorates their house like this with the, you know, the wreaths and the garlands all over my house. I'm getting there. I'm slowly decorating a little more each year, but I'm not quite where I want to be. But again, let's flick on through. And again, we've got those reds and greens. We've got the silver this time and like a brown that I guess is kind of meant to be gold. It's not really silver either. It's kind of gray. But again, it definitely leans into the more traditional theme of Christmas. Let me put those to the side. Oh, there's another little... So I must have got one with the standard kit and one with the journaling kit. We have the box add-on page because it is the mystery kit. We have the glitter headers included because it is the mystery kit. We then have the gorgeous cabin in the woods, watercolor vibe, some scripts and some decorative pieces down the bottom there. And then we are back to the beginning. We then have our weekend banner, our icons and deco, our tall fashion box, our washi add-on and the extra boxes there as well. So that is the September mystery kit from Planner Face. If you did miss out, Anna does re-release her mystery kits. I don't know if it's 12 months or two years later, maybe 12 months. So if you didn't get it this year and you can't pick it up in a buy swap sell, definitely keep your eyes out because Anna will likely release it again next year. Um, but that actually concludes my entire three orders from Planner Face. So let's go ahead and jump into the next store. Alrighty, so the next order that I have to share with you is from Glam Planner. I don't think I have ordered from Glam Planner in like two years, maybe more. And I think this is only the second order ever that I've done from Glam Planner. And it's not because I don't want to shop from Glam Planner. It's just I generally gravitate to the same stores. Um, but I saw on Facebook that she was having like a glitch sale. So I took advantage and I picked up a bunch of glitch kits as well as I think two regular kits. But like... I don't know, saved myself some money and got some really fun kits. Um, but I did get like a rack bag. So I'm going to go through that first. I've not looked through any of this. So let's have a look at that together. So in my rack bag, I did get some glitter headers. Always handy because in the event that you pick up a kit and you don't necessarily have glitter headers for it, you have the option of the glitter headers. I then got some full boxes here. This looks to be from a Hocus Pocus kit. And again, rack bags are great because some things you'll like, you'll pick up some bargains, you'll get some freebies that you'll be able to really utilize. And then of course, there is the alternate where you'll get some things that you won't be able to utilize. Um, so I then got some functional boxes free. I got a full box for like a haunted house situation. I got some Bippity and Boo Crunchies. So these are like the little character stickers doing some tummy crunches or some sit-ups. I have this double box scene. Not sure what kit this is from, but it's very pretty. I then got the Glam Planner Cranberry Lane version 5 Fashion Girl, but then I also got the like foil overlay to go with it, which is fun. I don't know if I have Cranberry Lane. But the color palette could probably go with one of the kits I picked up. So we'll see what happens. Um, I then got what looks to be like a portion from a monthly from a December 2021. 
some washi strips again very handy because if you need to bring in some washi you can pull that into any kit I then have some functional items here so some littles some icons and some squared off boxes and the color palette is very neutral so I'm sure that I'll have no issues bringing those into other spreads I have another functional page here so this one has some headers some washi strips and some boxes and another we've got some boxes some glitter headers and some white space checklists I then have some boxes from some full boxes here and some functional items. Another functionals page with some icons and like trackers and things like that. And then I've heard someone say this before, but I did get this. It's the April 2021 sub glitter overlay. I don't know if I'm like, you're not going to be able to use those anywhere because the foil is formatted in a way that it overlays a particular kind of sticker. I may be able to use these strips for something, but probably won't be able to make use of the rest of it. But again, it's a rack bag. It's a freebie. So you cannot complain. All of those were free. So use what you can. Destash what you can't. Give away what you can't. Again, it's free. Um, okay, so I picked up a couple of kits, like I said, because it was a glitch sale. So the first glitch kit that I collected or picked up was this stunning kit. This is the arcade kit, and I thought that this was super fun because, like I mentioned earlier, my husband and I do like to spend our time going to the arcade sometimes. We don't go a lot, but we do go semi-regularly, and we spend time, we play the arcade games, we have dinner and we go home so I thought that this would be perfect to use for one of those weeks like a weekend that we go to the arcade we can use this for that and I just love the like neon like after dark type vibes so those are the full boxes and then we have the super fun Tetris looking checklist which I won't use but I still love them the pattern's amazing here you have some extra full boxes, you have some functional items. Again, because I don't shop from Glam Planner a lot, I'm not super familiar with her formatting and I know that it's probably going to take me 45 years to plan with these kits when I actually use them, but they're beautiful and I'm really happy with my purchases, so we will make it work. We have some icons, some deco, some more functionals, some washi strips, appointment labels, here we have our glitter headers, some little things, some headers. Oh, yes. I'm so happy about that. There we go. There's that Tetris washi. Very excited. And I love this because the way that she does her washi, you can use like these two and then put your own washi at the top. Or you can use this one and put your own washi at the top. Or you can use this one and this one. Like you can really customize it how you want. And then, of course, we have our date headers there as well. Here we have some funky nails. You've got the different skin tones, the different sweater color, and then you've got the different skin tones there with the 80s vibe shirt. Here we have a double box scene. You have some add-on boxes. And then with this one, I did get some foil. So I do have um, some bougie boxes or some underlays here. So I've got eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So I've got 12 underlays. So I may need to pair them with some other underlays. They are in like a shattered foil, shattered hollow foil. You can kind of see over here. Um, so we had those included. We then have some Pac-Man inspired header overlays. You have some date overlays. You have some washi overlay as well. And then you've got like a decorative box there and just some random decorative pieces. So that is Arcade from Glam Planner. The next kit that I picked up was, like I said, so many Christmas kits in this haul. I picked up the Spiced Rum Kit. Again, this is meant to be a glitch. I haven't looked through it, so I don't know where the glitch is. But a lot of the time, I feel like when stores have glitch kits, you can't even identify the problem. Um, again, this is very not traditional. This is very neutral, very kind of earthy, 
but there was just something about it. I think it's the, like the lights and it's very homey. I don't know. I just really loved this kit and I was like, I'm going to pick it up. It's a glitch. It's cheaper than usual. So that's what I did. Um, so again, here are your full boxes. This is going to be the same format as the previous kit by the look. So I'm just going to skip on through. And again, you can see those earthy colors coming through. I'm so excited for Christmas. I say this every year and then I get really hyped for it. And then I get really busy, really busy leading up to Christmas and throughout Christmas. And then Christmas is over and I feel like I don't ever get time to enjoy it because I've been so busy because we have Christmas at my house every year. So I'm doing the cooking, I'm doing the cleaning, I'm doing the preparation. I feel like I just don't get the time to sit down and enjoy it. And then it's over with and then I'm counting down for the next Christmas and then I get excited again and then I get bogged down again and then it's just this ongoing cycle. But you know what? If nothing else, I'm excited for Christmas in my planner. Um, so we also have the box add-on there. We have the double box. The house is stunning. And then I also got the tall box, the extra full boxes and there's an extra functional box there. So that is the spiced rum kit. Okay, so the next collection that I have here is the Dear Santa kit. And this is, again, going back to that traditional vibe. I think this kit I'm going to, again, inspired by Cat of Peace Love Plan, I think I'm going to create an album of kits that I'm going to use when I finally have a family. And I think this is going to be one of those because you've got, like, the letter to Santa. And I just, I don't know, it's very cute. Um, it seems like a shame because it's going to go in an album and I might not use it for years and years. And... I mean, it is what it is. And then hopefully I don't ever get sick of the planner community, which I don't think I ever will because it's like my favorite hobby. But I don't want to put them away and then they don't get used. And then I have all of these like kits that don't get utilized. But we're not going to think like that. We're going to put it into an album and we're going to have children soon and we're going to use all of our family inspired kits. Anyway, that was a really, really weird way to say this is the Dear Santa kit. <laughs> Um, but I really, really love the traditional vibes. Again, you've got the beautiful little fairy lights. I think fairy lights are part of probably one of my favorite parts of Christmas. I love going and looking at the Christmas lights. There's just something about lights that I'm, like, I just love it. Um, so anything with lights, I'm a sucker for. And I think that's why I love Christmas so much as well, because there's just lights everywhere. It's an excuse to put lights everywhere. Everyone decorates their home with lights. Like, it's just... I don't know. Again, we're just looking through because it is the same format as the previous kits. And then you've got your like candy cane. I would definitely wouldn't pair these two together because they don't align and it looks a little bit weird, but you know, you do you. Um, and then we have the add-ons. So we have the extra boxes. We have the like a double box Christmas tree scene. And then, like I said, very family-esque. You've got like the pregnant woman. You've got potentially an adult child. You've got what looks like a like two children, kind of like, I don't know, eight to ten kind of vibes. And then you've got the newborn as well. So, again, very Christmas-oriented, which is part of why I want to put this one away. But you never know. I might use it and just not use the like family-type bo boxes. We will see. Um, but that is the Dear Santa collection. And then I have a collection that I've kind of made of myself to make it work. So this was also a glitch. This looks to be an older format. You can tell by looking at the kit. I don't even know what it's called, if I'm honest. But this is the collection here. So again, that's the older sort of header. Um, but when I looked at this, I very much thought that this would be a perfect kit to mark like my husband's birthday or father's day or again a very sort of family oriented type kit depending on how you use it like I said I picked this up as a glitch I think it's a mini kit so I had to get a bunch of extras in hopes that I would be able to make it work for my planning style but these are the full boxes here the doggo is very cute my husband does like to play pool we don't have a pool table and we don't really go anywhere to play pool and I don't know how to play so he doesn't get to play it a lot but he does he does know how to play guitar kind of as he's gotten older, he's probably forgotten. But I don't know. I just looked at it and I was like, this is my husband. So there is that. Here we have some functional. So we have some glitter headers, some boxes. We have some more functional items here. 
like I said, I'm, it's going to be very interesting to play around with this and make it work because I don't know that there's going to be enough functional items, but we'll see what happens. Um, again, you have your bottom washi, your date headers. And then this is where I kind of bought a bunch of like various different things to make it work. So again, if I want to save it for when we have a family, I did get some brunette children here. I also picked up some redheads because my husband is kind of a light, a light, dirty, blondy, brown color hair, but he does have a ginger beard and I'm a brunette. So there's every chance that we will have redheaded children. So just in case. I then picked up this box because then depending on whether I want to use it as a birthday or a Father's Day kit, I have the option. I then picked up like so many of these. I think with all of these, I should have enough functional boxes, I'm hoping. Um, but I picked up five of these to go with the kit and then i picked up the glitter headers because i didn't have enough glitter headers and i wanted to have glitter headers and then should i want it or need it i do have the double box scene as well um so can't tell you what the name of that collection is but there's that <laughs> and then i also have so i have two more kits here so look at me go another two christmas kits um but again on sale, older format, this is again another glitch kit, another Christmas kit, and it's a very neutral kit as well. So like I said, depending on how I'm feeling, you know, there may be one year when I do like a Chris, like a neutral Christmas, like four weeks of neutral Christmases, this would really work. Or I might alternate or it might just be like however I feel at the time I want to plan. Um, but again, lights, like can you see the common theme here? Anything with lights and sparkle? I'm all about it. Um, but this is very, very cute. You've got the lounge room scene, the most wonderful time of the year, Matt. Very, very into this. Um, I think there's slightly more in this one because the previous kit, like I said, was a mini kit. I think this is a full kit, so there's going to be more functional items. Some extra full boxes. But again, we still kind of have that like red, it's more orange, but you've got the like the red, the gold and the green. And then you've got like the pop of pink. Some deco, some extra functionals, some washi, some headers. Oh. Some little things. Your bottom washi, this strip is fantastic. And then I don't know, like I said, with my freebies, was she, is this from this kit? No, it's not. But it, I mean, she could kind of work. Maybe. We'll see what happens. Um, Again, apologies. I don't know the name of that collection because it's not on there and it is an older kit. So I'm not sure. But then the final kit that I picked up from Glam Planner, again, it is an older format kit. It is a Christmas kit. It is very cartoony. Definitely not my usual style. But for anyone who does not know, I actually have a French Bulldog. My French Bulldog is fawn and pied. So he's majority white. He has like a black mask on his face. He has like brown on his little butt. He has like a butt circle that's brown. Um, and he has a bit of brown over his head as well. Um, so this is a blue Frenchie. But whenever I see art that has a Frenchie in it, I'm going to buy it. So FYI, anyone who's watching, I'm going to buy anything Frenchie. So that is purely the reason that I picked up this kit, because there is a Frenchie. Um, but again, like I said, this is very sort of traditional Christmas with a pop of pink. It is also very cartoony. I don't know when I will use this spread. Maybe this year. I don't know. We will see what happens. But let's flick on through again. It is the older format, same as the previous one. So we'll jump on through and again, so we've got red and green traditional, but then we've got pink and blue. So definitely an interesting color palette, but I think laid down and like sparkled, it will look really, really pretty. I'm thinking of maybe pairing this with a red foil just to make it really pop. But then I don't know, because I feel like when I use my traditional type kits, I want to use like my silvers and my golds. So I think like maybe it would be a good opportunity to use a sparkly red foil with this one. I think that could be really fun. <clears throat> Pops of red. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe silver. I don't know. 
But again, can't tell you the name of this kit. I just know that I picked it up as a glitch. Um, I think she is having a Clarent glitch sale at the moment, or she was. She's moving. I don't know. I wanted to shop again, but I, I have so many kits, it's not funny. Um, but that was my order from Glam Planner. So let's pop that over here and let's jump into the next store, which is a new to me store. Alrighty. So like I said, this is a brand new store to me. I had seen people using these stickers everywhere. I'd never purchased from them. I follow them, but it's one of those things like I'll see something and I'll be like, oh yeah, I'll come back and look at that or I'll favorite it. And then I forget and don't go back to it. But I got an order from Stick With The Plan Co. I did get some freebies. So Stick With The Plan Co, for anyone who doesn't know, you may recognize this character or this character. You may have seen them around before. They are super, super cute. You have so many customization options. So this little character sticker, you can make her a blonde, brunette, redhead, you name it. I, of course, am a brunette, so I picked up the brunette characters. Um, but it did come with this gorgeous little journaling card. I'm not going to flick to the back because there is a little code there. But it's very, very cute. And then, again, for anyone who has followed me for a while, you know that I appreciate the little details. So they did actually take the time to write a little handwritten note saying, thank you so much, Melissa. So always appreciated when that happens. Um, and then in addition to that, we did get, I did get a PR freebie. So I've got... Amy's PR freebie. So you've just got some little squidges and some little characters there. And then I also got like a thank you July 23 because I placed the order in July um, with some freebies there. Super cute. And then let's go ahead and flick through what I purchased. It has been so long. I've not looked through these since I, well, no, I've not looked through them at all. So I don't even remember what I ordered. Um, but like I said, this is the stick with the Planko order. I did go for the brunette girl. This is the bestseller sampler. I thought it would be good to pick up because it's bestsellers and there's a range of different stickers there. So you've got her like snoozing on the couch, shopping in a cup of coffee or tea, food prepping, moving or sorting things out, snoozing her alarm, shopping, weather, snuggled, Netflix. You've got nails, laundry, like there's just so many options there. I think that's really, really fun. I then picked up the birthday time stickers because you can never have too many birthday stickers and you've got like the four different characters and then it's just repeated down the page. So you've got her with her balloon and cupcake, her blowing out her candles with gifts and with her little streamers and what's that thing called? Party popper? No, not a party popper. It's like a whistle. I don't know what it's called now. If you know, let me know because I'm blanking. I also then picked up the car care sampler. I have a brand new car that I got at the beginning of this year for anyone who doesn't know. And I just don't have enough car stickers. So I thought it would be fun to have these to mark like washing the car, taking the car for a service, that kind of thing. I picked up the date night sampler. So you've got them eating some spaghetti. You've got them at the movies and then you have them at home on the couch just chilling out together and then you've got like a little cuddle one down at the bottom there like I said my husband does have like brown hair it's very light brown almost blonde but I feel like blonde isn't correct so I always opt to have him as a brunette in my couple's stickers another sticker that I don't have enough of is a dentist sticker so I thought that this would be really fun to mark going to the dentist I hate going to the dentist and I avoid it at all costs I think I'm like two years overdue seeing the dentist now which is really really bad and I really 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 need to go back um so I guess this is a way of making that appointment cute I have the injection sticker again don't really like the doctor, don't like needles. I did have a bunch of blood tests at the beginning of the year. I'm probably about to have a bunch more and there's other reasons I'm going to need to do some injections. So I thought that this again would be a cute way to mark doing said injections or having, you know, blood tests or vaccinations or whatever it may be. Um, unfortunately, I picked up the migraine sampler. I really like this one where she's like in the shadows or in the darkness because literally that's all you can do when you have a migraine is rest or like a hide in the dark. <clears throat> and I get far too many headaches and or migraines. So again, just a cute way of marking that. 
hopefully I don't have to use them, but it is what it is. Um, I also picked up the Netflix time. So self-explanatory, you've got the um, alternating versions of her sitting in front of the TV with Netflix on and then just the Netflix symbol. Here we have the period or Shark Week stickers, which I actually really love because you've got like the Shark Week and then you've got the like when you're really hungry and you just want salt and sugar and snacks. And then you've got like the angry period and then you've got like the cramps. So you've got all the different vibes there. I also picked up the Disney princesses. Again, not that I watch a lot of Disney. I do love Disney, but I figured that if I watch any of the Disney movies or, you know, anything like that, I actually have the princesses to mark doing so. I went to see The Little Mermaid earlier this year. I obviously didn't have The Little Mermaid for that, um, but that's kind of what inspired the idea. And I just think they're really cute. I then picked up the Sims game stickers. I am a Simaholic. I have a Sims YouTube channel. I have a Sims Tumblr. I have a Sims Instagram account. Not that I use all of them religiously, but... I do also just enjoy playing the game, so I thought it would be fun to have some Sims theme stickers that aren't just the traditional plum bob. I'm forward planning for next year, so I thought it would be fun to pick up some St. Patrick's Day stickers. I think I have one lot, which is like Debbie Downer from Marshmallow Studio, and she has blue hair, so she doesn't always fit with all of my spreads. So I thought it would be fun to have something like this where... I could pick a sticker, tie it into a St. Patrick's Day spread and mark St. Patrick's Day. Um, you know, you've got the, the green beer here, the beer. You've got like the shamrock, the coins, the pot of gold, the rainbow. Just, again, I can alternate them and this sheet will last forever. <laughs> I then picked up the Too Hot sticker, which is perfect because I am yet to plan the last couple of weeks in my planner and we have had some really hot days even though it's barely spring we have had some really hot like record temperature days already so this is going to come in really handy i picked up the working late stickers because i was having a lot of long work days when i did this order i'm now in a different role currently so i'm not necessarily having such late days but this is super fun for working late and if you've just got a really busy day like the fact that she's daydreaming about bed I feel like that's not necessarily working late that's literally just sometimes how I feel at 10 a.m in the morning um so those are fun I then picked up the flip side of the so hot and got the freezing cold stickers now we are not in winter anymore I've done I think most if not all of my winter spreads at this point so these will go away until next year um, but I thought that they were super cute. I have then also picked up the order medication. I am currently taking a whole heap of different supplements. Um, some of which include like trips to the chemist to get some over the counter medication. So again, just a cute way of marking that. I tried to make this order a really, like, I was really conscious of what I was ordering. I was trying to order stickers that I don't have in my collection already is so that like when I need to mark certain things that I don't have stickers for I actually now have stickers for um so this one is the tummy pains again I thought this could mark tummy pains it could mark being hungry it could mark period pain um so I thought that was fun and super cute and there's like four different varieties five different varieties of her so you can alternate I've then picked up the YouTube stickers. So she's got her five different colored sweaters and the YouTube button there. Perfect for marking like my YouTube stats or for watching YouTube or for editing YouTube videos. Um, so really, really perfect to have something like that. Um, I did pick up a wedding sampler. I am not getting married. I'm already married. Um, our close friends are all already married, but I guess you don't really ever know if you're going to get invited to a wedding. Um, you can also use these to mark anniversaries, things like that, but I have it now. Again, I didn't really have any wedding stickers in my collection, so I thought that I might as well add some. I then picked up the It's My Birthday. Again, 
I don't really have, like, I have balloons and gift boxes, but I don't have a lot of, like, birthday characters. Um, and I thought that this was super cute because, again, in my family, we celebrate our birthdays by getting together, having coffee and eating cake. And she's literally sitting there eating cake or, like, preparing to eat cake. So I thought that was super appropriate. And then we are back to the start. So that is my stick with the Plan Co order. First time I've ever shopped with them. Really, really happy with my purchase. Did take a little while to get here, but I think it came from like England. So that's to be expected, but very affordable. I shopped during a sale, I'm pretty sure. And I'm really, really happy with my purchase. Um, okay, now last, I have two items here. You will hear me rattling bags. Um, these are the last two things that I have to show you. It's from the last store. It is like this is the end of the haul after this. Um, but they are the SPC Mysteries. So I have here the August Mystery and the October Mystery. Again, I don't know where. Am I missing something? I thought I had the September Mystery as well. I don't know what's happening with my kits because this is, what did I say, October? Like, where's September? I don't know. I may have already hoard September. Maybe I had them... And in my last haul, I hauled both the August Mystery from Planet Face and the August Mystery from SPC. Maybe these ones were lying underneath something or they came out of water. I don't know. Um, but like I said, this is the August and the October Mysteries for this year from SPC. So if you haven't seen them yet or you do not want to see them, please go ahead and skip on through. You've probably seen the August one, but I've literally got the October Mystery here already. And we're barely in October. So if you don't want to see those, please skip ahead. Um, because I'm going to share the August mystery with you in three, two, one. Here we go. So here you have it. The August mystery 2023 from SPC. Really beautiful kit. Not sure when I'm going to use it because it's very celestial vibes. You could probably bring it in in like Halloween. I don't know, but I love it. I love the colors. I love the like witchy crystal celestial vibe. Um, but these are your full boxes here. And I also love that it's like really dark, but then it's complemented by that pop of pink, that kind of purple color, this like purpley pink. Very, very pretty. You have your deco, your checklists. Some extra full boxes, some glitter headers, some layering pieces. Your functionals. Again, I really don't like these TikTok boxes. Like, I never use them. Like, what can you fit in there? I know that you can layer them, but, like, I never use them. And I never really use the squared off boxes either. I mean, there's more than enough boxes in this kit. So it doesn't really matter, but... I don't like it. <laughs> you then have the entire page of little things and appointment labels. And these are like your patterned ones. You then have your patterned boxes. Your plain boxes. The extra full box. Your, your pre-split washi, your date headers. You have your icons. You then have this extra color if you want to bring it in. So you've got functionals and glitter headers. So if you're someone who likes to color block, you could like use this in color blocking. You then have the alternate fashion girl here. You've got an extra fashion girl in the various options. You have the tall box. She looks like Cinderella running out of the ball. Very pretty. I love that dress. And then you've got the alternate varieties of her. So if you want her to have red hair or you want her to have darker skin, darker hair, you've got that option. And then per usual with the mystery subscription, you get the foil as well. So this is a holo, holo, holo glitter situation. And it's in like a celestial star pattern. So those are your full boxes, your glitter header overlays on the side there. 
you have your star bougie boxes so you get two of those which make up enough to underlay all of your spread you have your scripts and icons you have your bottom washi overlay, the bow with like the confetti is my favorite. I actually really love the font of this. And then you've got some extra deco pieces and some extra or alternate glitter header overlays. So that is the August mystery. And then like I said, if you don't want to see it, you haven't seen it yet, you haven't gotten yours yet, I'm about to show you the October 2023 mystery. Um, so if you don't want to see that, definitely scoot away from the computer because I'm going to share that with you in three, two, one. So this is the October mystery. Again, like I said earlier, a little bit worried about this one because it is very muted, very muted, very neutral. It is very pretty though. You've got again, like the cabin in the woods, but you've got that really like floor to ceiling glass panels. It looks to be like it's on like a lake or like a waterfront maybe or those could be rocks i guess but maybe it's a lake house i don't know and then you've got the cozy you've got like the reading nook you have the little chair with the knitting and the cups you've got the bookshelf you've got the fireplace with the blankets very very pretty <clears throat> and very different from like the usual blues and purples that we get for winter kits here you have your deco. Again, same format as previous. You have your double box scene here. <clears throat> what I find interesting though is this brown tone. Like, <clears throat> why is there not pink? I feel like pink should be a glitter header. I don't know. Maybe it will contrast nicely. Who knows? Okay, and then we have here our Littles, our Tic Tacs. <laughs> this is kind of giving me like, I know it's not, but it's giving me kind of Burberry vibes. Some more functionals, like there's more than enough boxes. Like I said, there's so much in these mystery kits. You have your bottom washi. I really like the trees and the style of the trees. And then you've got like the ombre kind of <clears throat> solid washi. The stack of sweaters. You've then got the grey, the icons. Again, for people who like to colour block or may just want to scatter in a different colour. <clears throat> you have a bedroom double box. This stunning tall box. Her outfit, her, like she's beautiful love her i love all of them but i would probably use her in my sidebar and then i would contemplate possibly using this fashion girl or this fashion girl because <clears throat> they're the same maybe mm, i don't know she's outside so maybe her but all super super fun and then with this mystery again you get the foil bundle and this is like a matte silver which I've not seen before and I think is very clever and I really love. Um, so you've got your full boxes, your header overlays over here. You have your star snowflake themed bougies times two. You have your scripts and icons. I don't really know if you can see that it's matte, but it's definitely like a matte silver and I'm loving it. And then you've got your washi, you've got the font that I don't like, but it's fine. It is what it is. And that is the October mystery from SPC for 2023 and the end of this haul. All right, friends, there you have it. This is obviously not everything that we've just hauled because we hauled quite a lot. If you are still here, drop me a love heart emoji in the comments below to let me know that you are still here because that was a long one. But there were so, so many goodies. I am obsessed with everything that I've showed you. This is just a snapshot of just the full kits um, that I got. But I hope you have enjoyed this haul. I hope you have been inspired to go and do some shopping. Because I know that every time I watch somebody do a haul, I go off and go shopping. Um, I'm Like I said, I'm set for Christmas for the next 45 years of my life. 
it is what it is. We're not going to talk about it. My husband is never going to know. Um, but yes, if you have made it this far, thank you so, so much for watching. I appreciate all of your support. I am trying to get my content back to like a regular posting schedule. Um, so hopefully you are enjoying that. Um, other than that, if you have any questions at all, drop them in the comments below. I will get back to you as soon as I can. Um, but otherwise, that is it. I'm going to leave it here. Enjoy the rest of the day. Um, depending on where you are in the world, it could be night, could be morning, whatever it may be. But enjoy the rest of your day, however long you have left of that day. Um, and I will see you all hopefully very, very soon for another video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye for now. Thank you.